So my name is Cynthia Palacios Rexigel. I come from Argentina. I work for the Center for Legal and Social Studies, CELS. There are a lot of components that made me do what I'm doing now, but I guess the defining moment was when we were uh, trying to pass the bill uh, to legalize abortion in Argentina, which finally happened in 2020. Back then I was uh, participating in this um, workshop I was doing in juvenile women's prisons in Argentina, uh, which was life-changing for me because I learned from their experiences like this were like adolescents of they were like 15 or 16 years old most of them wrongly imprisoned uh, because of gender issues and some of them were actually defending the, themselves and to see that while I was going out of there and seeing this whole feminist movement was like mind-blowing for me. Well, I have a lot of objectives actually, but I believe like the most important one would be like women being able to access abortion medicines without discrimination and also not being criminalized because, uh, because of, of what we call obstetric, obstetric events and maybe also uh, indigenous communities being able to exercise their rights without discrimination. Well, fortunately, I live in Argentina. Uh, it's a safe country to be a human rights defender, at least in Buenos Aires, which is the capital city where I live. I haven't been specifically targeted because of being a human rights defender. However, my work is always at risk. And also, I believe like some communities uh, that I work with are targeted because of being human rights defenders. So I believe my work and also my responsibility is acting when they can't. Again, legalization of abortion is a big success for me in Argentina. I have this mental picture of all of us holding our green uh, signs for legalization of abortion. I, this picture like just resonates in my mind. There was also COVID going on. It was December 2020, right? So we were all like in our houses and we still went to Congress. I was scared of going out because of COVID, but still I just went. I saw just at the exact same moment they voted yes. And we won like how like it was like the ocean right a green ocean we call it maria verde so like a green ocean just like starting to jump and everyone was so happy and that was like my biggest biggest win Uh, it's actually my first time in Geneva uh, and also my first time doing in-person advocacy. Uh, so everything is new to me. Uh, but I guess my message is that for people to always remember there are people on the other side of the, the paper they are working on.